ladies. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Yanka, um, your Christian fitness trainer, a prayer warrior, and um, vegan lifestyle coach slash chef. And in this video, I'm just going to talk about um, what you can expect from this channel, um, kind of what, it, what it's about, because it's been a while since I've done anything like this. So, and it's such a beautiful day here, and my kids are occupied, and my husband is cleaning. So, um, I'm sitting here chilling. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me talk to my people. <laughs> so, um, just a little bit about me. Um, I am a Christ follower. <laughs> I hope you all know that. Um, that's kind of obvious to you. Um, I am also a um, full time uh, homemaker. Um, and I've been that for, or this for, um, I think pretty close to 10 years, almost 10 years. And I'm also a homeschooling mom to my few, my four beautiful kids. I have an 11 year old, 10 year old, old, eight and six. So two boys, two girls. And that is probably one of my most favorite things. Well, I love being a wife too. That's kind of one of my most favorite things too. My husband, he's a brilliant man. And I am just so blessed um, to have him as my husband. So um, there's, and I just love, you know, being with my kids. It's just one of the most favorite things. Um, I didn't set out to be a homemaker or a uh, homeschooling mom. It never actually ever crossed my mind. So it was just through the guy, the uh, obeying the guidance and leadership of the Holy Spirit where I arrived to that because it's something I would have never chosen. <laughs> so that, was, that took a complete renewing of my mind. But I'm so glad that I've done it. And, you know, we're, um, I think, eight years into homeschooling, maybe yeah, eight or nine years to homeschooling. And it's just the best decision that I ever made. And I'm just so thrilled being both a homemaker and a homeschooling mom. Um, so when they asked me, she was like, oh, when are you going back to work? I said, how about next to never? <laughs> I have no plans of ever returning to the workforce. So, and, you know, um, unless God calls me back to it, you know, prior to being a stay at home mom or homemaker, um, I was in the fitness industries um, for, I think about 10 years. Yeah, about 10 years. And in that time, I managed uh, five, five gyms. And, you know, started um, three of them just from the bottom up, you know, through the building process and all of that. And so I have actually an extensive knowledge about, you know, outfitting gyms and, build, you know, starting them up, um, doing feasibility studies on them. So all of that kind of stuff and um, just, you know, managing the personnel. So I had like personal trainers, um, nutritionists, uh, massage therapists, uh, group fitness instructors. and um, fitness floor workers. So those were amongst my staff people. And um, I just, you know, I, I enjoyed that. And so, and then uh, in that 10 year period, I did that. I was also a uh, um, national trainer or regional trainer for uh, national and regional for two uh, fitness companies. So I um, trained or um, was an education person. You know, I taught uh, tra personal trainers and group fitness instructors, just certifying them in like everything. Cause I was certified in everything. I taught um, Zumba, uh, prenatal fitness, um, postnatal fitness. I've done cycling, which is my, still one of my favorites. And I still ha I have a cycling certification as well. And I really want to do that on this channel. And I was having a, um, a shed built and it was built and then it get, didn't get delivered. So it was a whole fiasco with that. So I'm still going to have cycling at some point, just not as soon as I thought. So, um, but back to what I taught, I taught uh, strength training, boot camps, you name it. I taught Pilates, um, yoga before I knew what it was about, but I don't, you know, do that anywhere. And I still, I like stretching. So you'll find stretching on this channel a lot. Um, but if you, oh, I did um, silver sneakers. I started silver sneakers in my area um, all those years ago, um, active older adults. Um, you know, just all the senior classes. I love that. I did kids fitness, um, kids Zumba, you name it. I did it. Zumba toning, um, just all, all the things. If it was a, oh, gravity, that, gravity was my favorite too. Um, and that's the, uh, the slide board system with um, Chuck Norris. I forget what the home brand called, but we did, I did that one. And um, I had that program at my gyms. Um, 
we did a personal training one, a group fitness and something else, but that was like one of my favorites. And so I've done, if it was, it was on the, um, on the fitness schedule, I taught it or had it at my fitness gym and, and or my fitness places. And I just, you know, I've certified and everything because I never wanted to be stuck. Like if an instructor had an emergency or something, I knew how to teach it. I could just do it. So and hence I have lots of, you know, certifications and things and just experience and just, you know, being in the industry for over 20 years. Um, I also, you know, personal trained myself and I still do that now. And um, uh, group fitness, that was just like my favorite thing. And I kind of was thrown like I when I looked at fitness, I liked the idea of being a fitness instructor, but it scared me so bad. <laughs> so that's how I you know, I started with personal training and I was thrown into group, group fitness. And I think, you know, God knows as well, because I used to be like super shy and I would have never done that myself. And, you know, the gym that I worked at. Um, the instructor had an emergency that day and that's how i got into group fitness my uh supervisor at the time she was like you teaching this class i was like oh no i don't do that she was like this is the day you do sister <laughs> and so that's kind of how i got into it and i was you know i didn't even know you know it took god to do that <laughs> for me because sometimes you get in situations and you're like oh my goodness and that's how i was i mean i'm like shaking walking to the class i used to love taking that class and i was always the student in the very far back on the right hand side and that day i came in in you know, just something happened. Something came up out of me that I didn't know was there. And that's how I got into teaching group fitness. Um, but those people requested me from then on out. And that's kind of how I started. And then it's just, you know, went from there. And I just, you know, realized that, you know, God is in everything that we do. You know, he's orchestrating your path. He's doing things. And, you know, I went from that to um, emceeing events, uh, teaching different classes, just doing a lot in the public eye. And so it's actually, you know, and I enjoyed that, but it's actually, it's nice to just be home and kind of, you know, with my own little family and not out so much. And um, so that's kind of like my background before. And I just enjoyed all of it because I, you know, did personal training from my home. I did it in the gym um, when I started having kids. Um, I taught at the uh, college um, and I just like did all those things. So I, I enjoyed like all the fitness stuff. And God just called me home. Oh, I was also a, a wellness director for um, a couple of older adult communities. So um, they had like the um, regular older people. So they were like 73, my crew from 73 years old to 105. And, you know, I designed their wellness program for these different homes. And so we had the regular people, the um, assisted living and then the nursing home. And so I would just, you know, did, did the programming for all that and just work with them, just, you know, strengthening them. So I enjoyed that too. And I was also an online health and wellness coach. So I've done like so much in fitness and I just, you know, I was called away from that to be a homemaker and I'm glad I did. It's just the best decision. So now I kind of do this as a hobby, you know, cause I have a lot of knowledge and I still keep it current cause that's my certifications and things. Um, um, you know, just to, cause I invested a lot in that and I still enjoy it. But I like, you know, the thing that was missing was that God piece. And so that's what I do with this channel, because I still want to get the information out. I still want to help people because, you know, I, I, your health is God given and we are to steward that well. And so I think two big things that even Christ followers um, deal with, you know, finance, financial struggle and struggle with their health and, you know, just proper eating and taking care of the body and storing that well. So I focus on that here, not the finance so much, but my husband has a, a finance channel and I'm so happy that he finally started because I knew it's something that needed to be done. And so um, you guys can check that out. Um, he's it's at the wealth boardroom. And, you know, those are two things that I think that we need to steward well when God gives us things, you know, you take care of your health because you'll have, you know, people work and stress out. And then by the time you earn all the money that you need, you have to spend it on, you know, uh, if you didn't take care of your health, you got to spend it all there. So, but they work hand in hand. And God, you know, he showed both of us how to do these things. So, but anyway, so on this channel, so that's my background. I have a master's of science and exercise science and health promotion. And I still like to study that stuff. Um, and, you know, just the because I find the body absolutely fascinating. It, it always, you know, interested. You know, I was always interested in just how the human body works. And so, 
you know, on here, I want to focus a little bit, like whenever I taught classes, I wanted people to leave smarter than when they came in and just understand kind of how their body worked and what it was doing and just, you know, proper terminology and all that stuff. And so I just, that's kind of, you know, what I'm going with this. I do want you to understand how your body works. Cause I think when you understand things, you know, you it helps because scripture says, you know, um, wisdom is the principal thing, get wisdom, but with all you're getting, getting understanding. So if you can understand, you know, how your body works and why you need proper nutrition for it and how to get that nutrition, then, um, hold on, what's, what's the matter? Then, you know, it can make things a little bit easier and to stick to. What's the matter? This is my Libby, Libby. Huh? Okay. But you want to sit with me for a little bit? Here, sit with me. Okay. This is my Libya. I want to get All right. And so um, that's what was like my prior career. But now, you know, um, just homemaker is my career and I love it. Um, things I like doing, just tell you a little bit about me that you may not know. Um, I like doing arts and crafts. Um, I like doing word puzzles and um, number puzzles and search, word searches, anything that have to do with words. In the Sudoku, those are my things. Those are my jams. I like doing that kind of stuff. Um, you pulling my hair, baby. I like baking um, and just, you know, healthier recipes. You know, I just, I do enjoy baking. Um, I love to learn. Um, I study the Bible. That's one of my things that I do. Um, just learning about probably the biggest things that I learn about these days is um, just finances. Um, of course, your health, health and fitness. I kind of keep, you know, uh, stood on that and um, education um, or not not traditional education, but things that I can educate my children on that actually apply to life and just to, um, you know, help them to be where they need to be and get ahead and gain wisdom in different areas. Um, and then I like to pray with and for other people. So what would you say? Go ahead. I can see you. So as long as I'm out here. The boys too. If they want to. Okay, girls can play right there. And go ahead. You want to go play? Okay, she doesn't, but I can see you. All right, so ladies, that's like a little bit about me, you know, and kind of what I like to do. And that's like my background. Wait, no. <laughs> no. And um, this is my Libby Libby. Ooh la la. She is so sweet. Um, just a joy. You know, when she was born, you know, God gave a word to my mom about the joy that she would bring. And she is certainly that. And then we dedicated her to God on the eighth day. And that's the same word, he, or a very similar word that he gave to my husband regarding her. And she is everything the father said she would be and more. So this is my baby girl. Um, so in this channel, you will find, you know, just videos on the scripture, um, prayer and encouragement. Because um, third John one and two says, um, we love that I pray that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. So the prospering soul has to occur before the health and all of that stuff. So, you know, the scripture also says be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that's why, you know, the scripture, um, you'll find Bible studies here sometimes um, just in biblical nutrition principles. You know, things that I found in the Bible that are helpful that. Huh? Yeah, go through the front door, though. Well, actually, no, you're going to lock that door. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, things that I find that are helpful, you know, if you understand what the scripture says about food, because I find in the Bible that everything that we could possibly need or think of, watch out, baby, um, is in there. God didn't leave anything out. And so those, you know, you'll find these different videos. You'll find quick workouts. Um, most of my workouts are less than 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. Um, and then even now, the one minute workouts I've been doing, just showing you different uh, exercises you can do and, you know, um, how to properly do them. I think I'm going to do a few more videos on like explanation because, you know, sometimes you think you're doing something right, but kind of not. You have to make sure it's unlocked, baby. Lift up that little latch. No, it's on the, it's on the door part. No, oh, just go through the front door. I think it'll be easier. No, I know how to. Okay, Livingston knows how to do it. But I want to. Sh Good job. You're super smart. I knew you would. Um, but you can go through that. Go ahead. You open the door. Go ahead, sweetie. Take care of my sunglasses, Liv. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> sorry, that lady. But, you know, just knowing how to properly do an exercise, you know, engaging your core, you know, just the proper positioning and just how to do an exercise. So you'll find I'm going to start doing some videos like that because I find that um, they're not a whole lot. I mean, you have, you know, instructions in, but if you can get a quick tutorial on how to perform, let's say, a squat or a lunge or a proper roll up. So you'll see some of those coming through. Um, you'll see um, plant-based uh, recipes. Um, like I said, I like to bake, but also, you know, quick stuff that I think will, you know, will find you'll find helpful. Hannah, you guys are so loud. That I think you'll find help helpful. You know, that are kind of quick and they're you know packed full of nutrition. So like you know, different types of salads, um, desserts. Like if you mean, I like sweets, but I know that you know sugar having too much sugar. Period. It's not good for you. So what other things can I use? You know, um, there's stevia, there's uh, agave nectar, there's um, just honey and maple syrup. So these different things you can use. And, you know, I try these different things my, or I do it myself. And I know, you know, oh, this still tastes good. I'm going to put up a video that I know that is not good. You know, I'll find different ones on the Internet. And I have recipe books and things that I've bought over the years. And, you know, just modify them to my liking because some recipes, you know, you get stuff and you're like, mm, 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 that did not turn out well. So mine are kind of tried and true, at least for my palate and that of my family's. You want to sit down? All right. I'll step on it. Just turn this way. There you go. And so, um, so, you know, be on the lookout. No single feet down. Thank you. Those have been, you'll, you know, you'll see those on the channel on usually on Fridays, either short or, you know, something really quick. On preparing, I haven't done any long recipes or anything, but um, you know, most things are pretty quick. You'll get them done uh, less than 30 minutes. And so, look forward to those. And most of them are plant based because, again, you know, my whole family isn't plant based, but I'm mostly plant based. And I figure you know how to make your fish and chicken and whatever else you eat. So, I tend to focus more on it on these things because I've, you know, I was a chef year, or not a, I certified in this years ago and just, you know, practice this thing over time. And so, um, I know that these are tried and true. And then, you know, biblical nutrition principles. I spoke about that a little bit earlier, but, you know, I think you need to understand what the Bible says about your nutrition. Cause it has a lot to say, you know, about, you know, different areas of in how we eat, you know, because God designed us and he's the he knows um, how our body works and what nourishes it and what takes away from it. Um, I haven't you'll see more biblical nutrition ones because I did it maybe a couple years ago. And so um, I'm going to do some updated ones. So you'll have them kind of all together. I did the one on fasting so you can go back and look at those. Give me that my pen. Thank you. And um, You'll see some other ones like, you know, we'll talk about clean and unclean foods because that's a thing you hear a lot today. You know, clean eating, clean eating, clean eating. And today's clean eating is not the same as what the Bible says. So I want you to understand what the Bible has to say about that. And, you know, and why God said certain things. You want to sit down? Thank you. OK, thank you. I appreciate that. So we'll go over that. Um, and um, yeah, so we'll just be going to look forward to those things, ladies. So that's kind of what you'll see on this channel. It's probably not your traditional fitness channel, but it is, you know, where my heart is. I think God, you know, um, should be included in all areas of our lives. And so and this is especially one because he said, I have no idol, before, no other idol before me or no other God before me. And um, especially with the church, I think. Food has been one of those things that we, you know, kind of been OK. And it's idolatry because the scriptures talks about that. Maybe don't make no spaces. Um, talks about that, you know, how their guys, their bellies and it leads to destruction. And I and I look at how that, you know, when the Bible says something, how does this play out in real life? And that's the thing that I try to present to you. You know, if he says God, um, their gods, their bellies and this leads to destruction. Well, let's look at that. What is what does that mean? You know, how's my God, you know, overeating and eating the wrong thing and listening to your own um, soul on what thing, you know, how to eat. Because when he said, beloved, I pray that you prosper and be in health, um, even as your soul prosper. Well, you got to break down. What is the soul? The soul is the spirit. I mean, the uh, mind, the will and the emotions. So, OK, my thoughts have to prosper. My emotions have to prosper. 
And then I have to, that helps me with those prosper. I'll choose the right thing. So just breaking those things down, you know, not just, and then you have to look up words because we can look at scriptures in the Bible and then think we know. But if God speaks to us in dreams and night parables and stuff in there, um, there's different mysteries. You don't know all those things. So you have to interpret dreams. You have to interpret words. You know, what does this actually mean? So that's kind of what I kind of dig into on this channel. And when I present to you, it's usually from that perspective where I've looked, you know, done these word searches, looked at what, what is the spirit saying here? It's not just this surface, the surface level stuff, but you can look at the same word like 50 different times, get 50 different revelations. And so that's kind of what I try to do. So ladies, um, this video is kind of long. It's 20 minutes. I think that's where I'm at. But anyway, that's, I just want to kind of give you, you know, my background, um, kind of about me a little bit and what this channel is about. Cause you, you know, you have people talking to, to you and it's just like, okay, who is this person? Well, you know, that's who I am. You know, and I had a past. <laughs> that God has delivered me from. And I think um, maybe I'll do a testimony. I have little ones on, you know, here and there. But if you knew what the God has brought me from, you know, into where I am now, even at just every day, I'm just like, Father, thank you. Thank you. You know, look what the Lord has done, you know, because he has done some mighty things because I just shouldn't be here. But, you know, he did it. So anyway, I love you all. God bless you. And I will talk to you all again real soon. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.